Hey everyone, welcome to episode three of the Aggies. Once again, I'm Kenton Mean, Sports Information Director here at Cam University. Today we're gonna hear from our spirit team, our men's cross country and track and field team, and our women's tennis team. But first, let's meet the Cameron Athletics Hall of Fame class of 2020. This spring, as a part of homecoming, Cameron Athletics inducted five new members of the class of 2020 into the Cameron University Athletics Hall of Fame. Our first inductee was Ray Franklin, men's basketball in 1977-1980. Franklin was a key member of the 1980 NAIA National Championship squad. At 6'7", he started at center and was a dominant presence in the post after transferring to Cameron as a sophomore. Franklin averaged over 13 points and 8 rebounds during his junior and senior seasons and still holds a program record for most rebounds in a game with 26 against Southwestern. Our second inductee in the class of 2020 was Mr. Farron Hoddle, boxing and track 1952-1954. Hoddle was a big part of Hall of Fame coach Jess Thompson's Fighting Aggies. He amassed a record of 88 wins and 7 losses, with 20 of those wins coming via knockout. Hoddle was a state runner up in the 1952 Golden Gloves fighting as a lightweight and is credited with the win over Oklahoma Boxing Hall of Famer Jerry Brownrigg. The Stratford, Oklahoma native also ran track for Cameron, competing in the half mile with many victories in Oklahoma and Texas at the AAU level. Hoddle was also an active member of the school's student senate and was the football team's athletic trainer. Our third inductee was Jerry Hernshire, athletic director, men's golf coach, 1974 to 2019. Hernshire joined the Cameron Athletics coaching staff in the early 70s as a volunteer men's golf coach and turned that into one of the most successful coaching careers in Cameron history. The Shamrock, Texas native coached the 1983 NAIA National Championship squad and was named the National Coach of the Year that same season. His teams qualified for 21 national tournaments, 10 in NAIA and 11 in NCAA Division II, and won a record 11 Lone Star Conference titles. In 2007, Hernshire was named the Golf Coaches Association of America's NCAA Division II District Coach of the Year, which was the 13th time he had been awarded that honor. In 2012, he was inducted into the GCAA's Hall of Fame. Hernshire coached 39 All-Americans and 31 academic All-Americans during his time at CU. Our fourth inductee in the class of 2020 was Jordy Mueller, men's tennis 2004-2008. Mueller arrived at Cameron from Veracruz, Mexico and was a key part of the Aggie tennis program's success during his four years on campus. He posted winning records in both singles and doubles all four years and led his team to three 20-plus win seasons. Mueller earned all Lone Star Conference recognition as a sophomore, junior, and senior and was an ITL American in 2008 when he led CU to their first ever LSE Championship. That team won the South Central Regional and was ranked number six in the ITA National Poll, which was the highest a Cameron team has ever been ranked. Our fifth and final inductee was Taryn Turner, Volleyball 2003-2007. Turner came to Cameron with her twin sister Taylor to play for then head coach Kim Vincent. She was an all-conference player all four years and dominant on the block, totaling over 330 total blocks for her career. As a senior, Turner averaged a stellar 4.44 kills per set on her way to being named to the NCAA All-American squad. That team went 25-4 overall and 10-2 in a very tough Lone Star Conference. I'm Coach Tate. I am the head coach of the Spirit Program here at Cameron University. And I just want to say how proud I am of our athletes this year. The Spirit Program pushed through to the end of the year and finished with a 3.49 GPA average, which I think is absolutely incredible with everything that they had to go through at the end. Uh, they also completed numerous amounts of community service hours, including working with the Cleveland Elementary, Elgin 4th grade, and Lawton Senior Cheer programs. And we really look forward to going back out into our community, hopefully in the fall, and spreading more Aggie pride throughout Lawton. And for our Aggie of the Year, this person truly represented what it meant to be an Aggie athlete this entire season. They always stepped up to the plate, whether it be needing an extra volunteer for an event or to work with the team. They worked extra hard on the mat, on the court, and in the classroom. And were an all-around leader throughout this season. So our Aggie of the Year is Samantha Pemberton. To me, being a Cameron Aggie is all about perseverance and being better than I was the day before. A memorable Aggie moment for me has to be when I hit Raylan in the first 
single man extension I've ever done at a game. And I had a huge roar of applause come from the student section. Love you guys. Thank you so much for that. It meant a lot to me. The best impression I could come up with for my coach, Adla Marie Tate, would be point your toes. God bless. A role model to me this year was Coach Adrienne Bishop. She really stepped up and gave 100% of her effort, even though she had more work to do, and she still did it with a smile on her face. The person who inspires me the most is definitely Coach Burke. And I don't just say this because she's my coach, and I feel like I have to say this, but she is definitely, hands down, the best coach I have ever had in all my years of being an athlete. And I love the way that she is so passionate about what she does. I love that she makes us do something over and over and over again until it looks good enough to be presented or we're not gonna do it at all. I love that she pushes us to be better athletes. I love that she pushes us to be better students. I love that she pushes us to be better people. She makes us go above and beyond and take that extra step. And honestly, I just, I have never had anybody like that in my life and I just, I love her so much. Words cannot describe it. And she's just more than a coach. She's so much more than a coach. And you just don't find that anymore. Hello Aggies, I'm Zach Johnson, head track and field and cross country coach at Cameron. Um, thanks for your support the past year. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit today about our cross country and indoor track season. Um, of course, our outdoor season got cut short, but I thought we did pretty well the first two seasons. Um, as far as some team highlights, um, the Lone Star Conference Cross Country Meet and South Central Region Meet were definitely team highlights. Um, we finished third as a team at the Lone Star Meet um, that ties our best ever finish. Um, we're also the only school located below 3,000 feet elevation that got a trophy, so we're pretty proud of that. Um, at the Region Meet, we finished ninth, with, which is our best ever finish. Um, top six schools qualified for nationals, so we were close. Not quite there. Um, we also won three uh, team titles. We won the OBU meet. Uh, we won the Aggie duels. We also won the Midwestern State Invitational. Um, individually, you know, James Bajinje was definitely our big highlight this year. Um, he finished 31st at the national meet um, to make All-American. Also finished second at the Lone Star meet. Um, ran well. Didn't quite defend his individual title, but ran as well as he could. Um, he also won the individual title at OBU, the Aggie Duels, and also the Midwestern Meet. Um, also, Eddie Gutierrez and Chris Dunn also had big individual finishes. Um, Eddie was 44th at the South Central Region, um, and then Chris was 16th at the Lone Star Meet. to just missed all conference honors. Um, as far as indoor track, we had, I think, nine qualifiers for the indoor conference meet in Lubbock. And then we had two relays qualify. Um, well, Roman Esparza qualified in the pole vault, uh, Madison Edwards in the 800, uh, Jake Cousineau, Stephen Reese and Pat, Derek Adams in the mile, um, Eddie Gutierrez and Bullock, uh, Rosigna in the 3000, and then Celso Ramirez, Chris, and Eddie in the 5K. And of course, our two relays. Um, for Aggie of the Year, I nominated Stefan Reese and Pat. Um, he's a senior, great student, great teammate, done a good job with us the last three and a half years. Um, I'd also like to thank Adam Godwin, my men's GA. He just graduated in May. He's been really helpful the last two years. He's also impressed everybody with his driving skills. Uh, and also my four seniors, uh, Celso Ramirez, you know, he stayed with me for four years, and Stefan, Robert Crosswhite, and then James. Hopefully James will be back for track next year. One, I'm Stefan, I'm a cross country and track runner, and I'm a senior at Cameron. And I want to thank my coach Johnson for having given me this opportunity and for having always been a great coach. Of course, I also want to thank my teammates. You all really made this a great, memorable time, and I miss you all a lot, and I hope we can see each other again one day. Um, of course, I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get to race my senior year, but, um, I want to share my favorite memory from Cameron with you all, and that was my breakthrough 1500 meter race uh, at Rice University in Houston, where I lowered my PR by eight seconds, and I also won that race. So enjoy this little clip and back the eggs. Um, 
I guess my most memorable memory from this past year uh, would that be going to regionals. Uh, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, we got to run against some top tier teams, especially at the D2 level. And uh, hopefully next year we'll be running with them at nationals. Someone who inspires me, James Majinja. I always see him working hard. He works hard every single day. Right now, he's working hard. I always see him working hard. He's, he's working a job, and he's doing his training. He's, he's just doing it all. Hey there, Aggies. This is Josh Cobble, the men's and women's tennis coach. This time around, I get to talk to you about our women's tennis program. We had a great group of ladies. They were small in number, but they were big in heart and toughness. They battled through a lot of injuries this year and did a great job just improving and growing throughout the year. Fortunately for us, we get them all back this next season. On top of the great work they did on the court, they had an incredible 3.8 GPA this year. Really proud of this group of ladies and getting to talk about them today. All right, we had two freshmen this year, Julianne Garcia and Alex Lopez. These two did a great job coming in and adapting to a really competitive college environment. They had to learn a little bit about uh, what college tennis meant and the level of play here, but they've done a great job and improved a lot this year. Really excited to have these two coming back for their second season next year. Returning this year, we had Pilar Warena. She did a great job this year, improved a ton, especially in her doubles game this year. She, we, she had a great end of the season, and I expect her to continue to do great things this next year. She has a great ability to want to improve every single day and continues getting better and works hard. Vasilisa Polonova joined us this year as a transfer student, as a sophomore. She played number one for her previous school and did the same thing for us this year. She had a slow start, but really took off and had some really great wins at the end of the season. She's gonna come in, I think, be one of the top players in our conference this next year. All right, junior Alyssa Savina did a great job this year and has a phenomenal tool set that she uses to play matches. This girl is uh, really good at trying to find ways to win, no matter what kind of player she has to compete against. She always has a tool or a trick to find a way to win that match. On top of being good in the, on the tennis court, she does a great job in the classroom, is one of the best leaders we have on the team. She does a really good job for us. And then finally to talk about the, the ladies on the team is our Aggie of the Year for the women's tennis team, Melanie Opals. Melanie does a great job on court. She was having one of the best seasons she's had so far this year at the beginning of the spring. Uh, has worked hard, both not on the tennis court, but does a great job in the weight room as well. Um, on top of what she does as far as a tennis player, she's a great leader for the team. Um, always talking to the girls, trying to get them inspired, inspired to play uh, each match and do a good job at practice. But she has a 3.95 GPA and has been selected to speak about her research in chemistry, both regionally and nationally. Uh, congratulations, Melanie, you've done a great job. I want to take a big shout out for my women's GA, Mathilde Thibodeau. Maddie does a great job working with the girls every day. She was a great player for us here at Cameron and she's done a good job in trying to instill that same fighting spirit she had as a tennis player, as well as telling her what it means to be a team here at Cameron. Lastly, I'd like to thank our administration, all the staff and faculty, and all the supporters here at Cameron. Without all the things that you guys do each and every year and each week, we couldn't come out here and have the opportunities to be successful like we do. We're looking forward to have another opportunity to represent Cameron really well this year. And uh, once again, thank you for everything you guys do each and every year for us. For me, being an IE means belonging and support. Being an IE means being part of a big family that will be always there for you and will fight with you all the time. My favorite place to spend time on campus is the NCC since it is witness of our after dinner meetings with my teammates. Being a student athlete for me is to know how to be strong, how not to give up in any situation, and to know how to be a leader, which is not only to win, but to show others how to win. And at Cameron, I have an amazing team, which is the second family for me now, and I love being student athlete at Cameron. I have to say a massive thank you to all the medical professionals and first responders for all your selflessness and dedication in carrying us through this pandemic. Um, you truly are the world's heroes at the moment, and every second you work is greatly appreciated. We'll see you again on Tuesday when we hear from our women's cross country and track and field, our baseball, and our softball teams. Back the X. Three, three.